Okay, so here's another distributor, kind of like the one we saw in the last video. This one's obviously out of the engine. So we can see where it drops down into the engine block. We can see the gear that drives it. This gear is driven by a gear on the camshaft. So this spins at camshaft speed, which is, as you know, half crankshaft speed. The very bottom of this shaft also has a little hex shape inside. That mates with a little drive shaft that goes down and drives the oil pump in the bottom of the engine. So that's another function of this distributor. So the camshaft is driven by the crankshaft. A gear on the cam drives this distributor shaft. An extra shaft drops down into the oil pan to drive the oil pump. And then up inside the distributor, we have another little cam lobe that operates these points. And we're going to look at those in greater detail now. So if we look down in here, as I spin the shaft, you can watch how the points open and close, or in this case, barely open and close. So these need to be adjusted. The amount that those points open... When I stop this shaft on a high spot, the amount that those points open is known as point gap, and the gap is way too small on these points. So I'm going to set that right now. So we start by loosening this screw a little bit. We loosen this one a little bit. And what that allows us to do is move this stationary point back and forth while the moving point that rubs against the cam sits still. So the gap spec on this distributor is 17 thousandths of an inch. I have my feeler gauge here. I actually need to snug this screw up just a little bit. So we're going to move this over. Until the 17 thousandths feeler gauge just slips in. And it takes patience. That's too tight. That is just about right. And then when I tighten the screw, it might move. And that's where the patience part comes in. And that feels pretty good. So make sure these two screws are tight. Okay, so now as I spin this over, you can get a better view of those points opening and closing. And what you get by setting that gap properly is you get a proper setting known as dwell, a proper dwell setting. Dwell refers to the length of time that the circuit is on. And the circuit is on basically from when that point closes until the next time it opens again. So basically when the point is closed down there, that's your dwell setting. So on some engines, you can't set that with it running because there's moving parts in here and you can't be inside this distributor while the engine's running. So basically, the only way you can set it is by setting that gap and then checking it on a meter with the engine running. And then if it's wrong, you go back in and you adjust it again and you try to get it better. So in another video, I'm going to wire this distributor up to a coil and we can actually watch how it makes the coil produce high voltage and make sparks.